The world of oncology and orthopedic surgery creates a synergy that constantly is bringing new challenges and puzzles. Unlike the majority of orthopedic subspecialties, my profession as an orthopedic oncologist allows me to work with a variety of amazing partners from all over dis different disciplines, crossing the usual boundaries of extremity surgery. I think that one of the most fun group of surgeons that I work with are our thoracic surgeons. In the past year, I've had the privilege of working on a variety of challenging cases with my thoracic surgery partner, Dr. Dan Raymond. Two particular cases that highlight the ingenuity and creativity that brings us together both involved reconstruction of the sternum bone involving a primary bone sarcoma called a chondrosarcoma. It's always fun when I get a phone call from my thoracic surgery partner with a new case, and it allows us to brainstorm unusual options in an effort to help satisfy both the oncology principles of tumor surgery as well as restore and maintain as much function as possible. The first case was a gentleman in his mid-20s who presented with a chondrosarcoma of his manubrium, which is the top part of the breastbone. The goal was to remove the cancer and tumor cleanly, but because of the low-grade nature of this, we wanted to spare as much anatomy as possible. Working with industry partners, we were able to create and arrive at a custom cutting jig design, allowing us to gain accurate margins while sparing as much bone as possible for reconstruction purposes. We were then able to reconstruct the defect, utilizing orthopedic techniques involving screws and bone cement to create a rebar and wet concrete type reconstruction of the manubrium and gave him full function immediately. A second case involves a gentleman in his 70s who had undergone multiple resections of a sternal chondrosarcoma, which unfortunately had recurrences after each resection. He presented with a multiple recurrence that essentially forced us to remove 70% or so of his sternum bone, and a portion of the medial clavicle anatomy was also involved. The unique challenges of chest wall movements, the critical anatomy living immediately behind the sternum such as the heart, and the limited bone fixation created one of the more impressive challenges that I've encountered in my career. With such a large defect, leaving the defect open would predispose the patient to direct trauma to his heart and progressive spinal deformity, both of which ultimately would be life-threatening. Working with a local bone bank and industry partners, we created a 3D model for our anticipated resection. We then used these measurements from the anticipated defect in the chest that we were able to create, and then were able to identify a matching femoral donor bone allograft, essentially utilizing a third of a cadaveric femur to reconstruct this defect. Because of the limited bone fixation, we utilized multiple orthopedic principles to help gain fixation, including plating, long cannulated screws, and suspension with strong suture material. The graft was also supplemented with bone cement to increase its strength, and all of the junctions were bone grafted. These high-risk, high-reward scenarios certainly feed the energy that wakes me up every day with a smile on my face. These types of stories are what drive me as an orthopedic oncologist, getting to work with incredible medical and surgical physician partners, solve puzzles, and help navigate the complexities that cancer presents us as a team. Such a multidisciplinary effort is only possible in environments such as the clinic, where we can put multiple experts from seemingly disparate specialties in a room together in order to solve these challenging problems. There are no such thing as lone cowboys in the world of complex cancer surgery. My partners are my lifeline and my fuel, and being able to tell a patient that we got your cancer out and surgery went off without a hitch can only occur when you have partners that are united and invested in the common goal. I am reminded every day of the gift that I have been given in order to be part of stories like this.